हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर ट्रांसपोजोन्स ओके सो इट्स माय फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड द टॉपिक इज सी ओ पी डी हैरिसन एक्सप्लेन बेसिकली दीज आर द नोट्स आई हैव मेड फ्रॉम हैरिसन सो बिग नाइन क्रॉनिक ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव पल्मनरी डिजीज सी ओ पी डी इज डिवाइंड एज एयर फ्लो लिमिटेशन नॉट फुली रिवर्सिबल and it includes emphysema chronic bronchitis small airway disease remember in chronic bronchitis if no air flow obstruction occurs then it's not called copd now the risk factors of the copd cigarette smoking cigarette smoking uh, we calculate the risk in pack years like number of cigarettes he smoke in a day in the number of years decreased force expiratory volume in the first second occurs in dose response relationship with intensity of smoking okay and next is airway responsiveness hyper responsiveness basically it's present in copd patients like airway is hyper responsive to methicillin and histamine same as it occurs in asthma we have two hypotheses the dutch hypothesis and the british hypothesis Dutch hypothesis it says that asthma, chronic bronchitis, and emphysema they are the variation of the same disease, and they are modulated by environmental and genetic factors. Whereas the British hypothesis says that asthma and COPD are different. Basically, asthma is an allergy, and COPD is more related. Uh, various genetic determinants like uh, in COPD and asthma, Adam thirty three gene. and we have the macrophage elastase mmp12 then respiratory infections they are also the important cause of exacerbation of copd occupational exposure exposure to dust and fumes at work various occupations like coal mining gold mining cotton textile dust are the risk factors and other risk factors are the air pollution and passive second hand smoking exposure then talking about the genetic considerations there are many locus of protease inhibitors pi in which in codes for alpha 1 antitrypsin mle which uh, depicts normal alpha 1 at levels z allele slightly decreased level s allele sorry and z allele markedly decreased levels and none allele refers to no alpha 1 at levels okay so if a patient has two z alleles One Z and one null allele, PIZ. It is the most common form of alpha one antitrypsin deficiency. For severe alpha one uh, antitrypsin deficiency, we have alpha one augmentation therapy. Uh, weekly IV infusion is given, and PIMZ slightly increased risk of air flow, air flow obstruction. Then other genetic considerations are. If there is single nucleotide polymorphism in the minor allele of macrophage elastase twelve, there is decreased MMP twelve levels, which have a positive effects in children with asthma and adult smokers. Then, several COPD loci are. Uh, scientists found the locus uh, in a region near hedgehog interacting protein HHIP gene, which is on chromosome four and cluster of genes on chromosome fifteen. including components of nicotinic acetylcholine receptor so that's for the part 1 uh, kindly like and subscribe my channel dr transposons wait for the part 2